Thank you, Sam. Well, hi, everyone. Um, my name is Vincent Chalk. I am the CEO and founder of Legacy Trust. We are a registered public trust company based out of Hong Kong. Registered public trust company in Hong Kong is a regulated uh, company, and we are regulated by the financial secretary. So today, we are really proud to announce the spin-off of a brand new digital trust company. And we'll explain really the reason why we're separating the, uh, the two different asset classes. Oh, sorry, thanks. So the new company will be called First Digital, First Digital Trust. And we are in the, currently in the process of licensing the, uh, it will be fully licensed with um, TSP, uh, TCSP, which is the Trust Company Service Providers License in Hong Kong. And what that means is that we're fully compliant for AML and KYC. Okay. Legacy, let me give you sort of a background on Legacy Trust. So we're, we're a company that was established in 1992. And currently we're holding multiple types of assets that are for pension clients, retirement plans, um, for family offices, for high net worth individuals. And most of those assets are, are your traditional types of assets. Real estate, we can hold uh, uh, stocks, bonds, pol insurance policies. And it's a very, very different business model than what digital asset is. So in that world, it's centralized. There's, there's a lot of regulations. There's a lot of uh, reporting. And in the digital trust business, it's still considered a decentralized industry, which means that there are a lot of rules that will come into place fairly soon. There are uh, uncertainties. So the, dif the difference in business models have given us um, sort of the, the motivation to, cr to separate these two entities, all right? So I, I, I mean, I'm gonna kind of go off strip, <laughs> script here because this is sort of something that uh, I, I've talked about earlier. But essentially, what we wanna do is provide the same type of service to our digital asset clients as we do with our traditional clients. And in the trustee ordinance in Hong Kong, we're actually not able to own and invest in another company, in another trust company as part of the, the, the rules. So uh, that's the reason why this, is, this spin off is a complete arm's length uh, uh, relationship with Legacy. But we will provide management, we will provide our expertise, we will, we will provide and share our IP. And we will also provide a lot of the experience that we've taken along in structuring and in custody into the new company. So who's our target market here? See, in, in the digital asset business, as you know, a lot of the uh, activities are centralized mostly in Asia. And who are the major custodians in Asia? Well, legacy trusts. We know the big players in North America. It was Coinbase, BitGo, Zappo. You have Gemini Trust. But who in Asia? Legacy Trust. So if we have more than 60% of the market share for custody in digital asset, there's a lot of room for, for, for another custodian, I, I, I assume, right? So that's... that's uh, that's the reason why I think this uh, first digital is, uh, is going to be a major player in the custody space fairly quick. Our clients are exchanges, OTC desks, funds, and we see a lot of activities in the digital asset security space, meaning that we hold the underlining assets like real estate. We can hold projects, shares, and companies can tokenize those assets. So that's another um, target market for us. 
And we are also actively involved in the stablecoin market as custodian for the fiat. So First Digital will also have the exact same capabilities as legacy trusts. And in the trustee ordinance, in the trustee ordinance, it allows us to hold cash, fiat. Like at the, we can take deposits from the public, like a bank, all right? And uh, well, I mean, here's the winning formula. Regulated, fully licensed, regulated. So financial institutions can rely on us for performing KYC, can rely on us on performing uh, AML. And also, we're going to be uh, we're going to be exempted from different regulations, uh, securities. We're we're uh, going to be FATCA compliant. We're going to be CRS compliant. We're going to be you know reporting for automatic exchange of information. So, and as a trust company, we want to work and partner with the best of the best. And we feel that our partnership with Ledger gives us that edge. We, we, we want to be able to show and be transparent that we're using you know, top, top of the market technology. So we do have institutional grade hardware. Um, we do have, so we will be considered a qualified institutional grade custodian. One of the things that we are really excited about as well is that we're introducing a product called Beyond Custody. And Beyond Custody allows first time crypto users, crypto ent entrepreneurs that made their wealth with digital assets to be able to convert those digital assets to traditional assets. So imagine you deposit 10 Bitcoins and that Bitcoin within your custody account you give us instructions, Vincent, I want to buy a car in my company. I want to set up, you know, I want to, per, I want to start a portfolio of traditional stocks. I want to buy a condominium in Malaysia. Well, you can do all of that within your custody account. So we, we will purchase the assets. We will convert those assets so you can maneuver in and out of different asset classes. Right? So that's... that's that's something for the retail individuals. And as a business, we can help structure corporate pensions whereby you can pay your employees in cryptocurrency and we can obtain medical plans. We can obtain insurance for, for your employees. We can also create a pension for your employees by just contributing cryptocurrency. So those are very unique things that we, that makes us stand out from your what you hear and what you see as custodians in this space today so this is sort of where we you know coined it beyond custody because it's just not a custody it's it's beyond that right how we are able to do this is under the trustee ordinance in Hong Kong so section 81k of the Hong Kong trustee ordinance allows us to hold all of the the assets listed here. Securities, monies, jewelry, plates, properties, papers, documents, deeds, debentures, all of these assets is under our ordinance. So we can hold this, convert this, or vice versa, convert crypto into these any of these assets. Fully compliant, as I said, we are uh, under section 77 of the trustee ordinance. There is still privacy. Our regulators for the trustee ordinance is the financial secretary. Our regulator for the, for the uh, pension is the company registry. We are licensed under the TCSP again. I just want to uh, uh, alliterate that uh, for anti-money laundering and KYC, financial institutions can rely on us. So a lot of people are self-custodying. Self-custodying is, is quite a, I think with the Financial Action Task Force announcement, self-custodying will be a thing of the past quite soon. And um, even though you feel, hey, you know, I'm an exchange 
or I'm an OTC, I have the best AML, KYC technology is equivalent or even better than what the banks are, are doing. Well, the problem is licensed entities can't rely on that even though your technology and your, your policy and procedures are, are, are above and beyond the best of, uh, of what's in the market. But it's different for us. As a recognized licensed AML provider, we can provide that service for you and your clients. And institutions can rely on that. Our clients that sets up custody can also piggyback off of our relationship with institutions. And what that means is, so if you have never purchased IPO stocks and for example, uh, Tencent Music came out recently, last uh, beginning of the year. And if you wanted to buy shares in Tencent Music, you would have probably had to open up a, a, a brokerage account at Morgan Stanley, or you would have had to, even if you were able to open that, a minimum purchase of probably a million dollars or higher, right? So with this, we have an institutional account at Morgan Stanley at other institutions, at major insurance companies, whereby if you said, Vincent, I want to purchase 10 cent shares, but I only want to do $50,000 worth in Bitcoin, well, we can do that for you, right? We can actually make that work and convert your cryptocurrency into holdings of 10 cent music shares, for an example. So this is, uh, we feel that the, the services offered by First Digital is very unique. It's needed for sure in this market. It's very much needed because institutions that have problem with banking, institutions that have no idea their tax position, institutions, individuals that have no idea that trades that they have made previously could come back to them and, and bite them, right? So what do you do, right? So a trust is not something, I mean, you hear trust and people have the conception that only very wealthy individuals can set up trust. Well, that's not true today, right? What, what this is, is, is that uh, we're introducing a very fast technology that allows the normal person that holds 5, 10 bitcoins to be able to treat their assets like wealthy people do. So this is, this is going to make us the industry leaders and the only stand alone, standout custodian in the market in Asia. And um, we are very well prepared, we're very experienced in dealing with people that have situations that are very unknown to them. So that's a little bit about the background and uh, the announcement of the launch of uh, First Digital. And um, we can open up some questions, but first I, I want to introduce Gunnar Yarv. He's the CEO of uh, First Digital. And uh, so come up and say a few words. Hi everyone. Okay, this one is working. Uh, thank you, Vincent, for uh, for inviting me up to the stage here. I'll just say a few words. Um, basically, when we started with this journey, uh, it was about two two and a half years ago when we created a digital asset division within Legacy. So it was sort of a, a shielded uh, own business unit within a trust company. And from day one, we knew that this is going to be uh, something huge one day. But if you rewind two and a half years ago, this industry was very, very young still, right? So we've been working hard. We've been uh, building up our client base. We've been innovating like crazy. We've been building products. We've been building um, and breaking new ground in terms of regulation. And I guess what Vincent's announcement 
today sums up is today we are ready essentially to take all that know-how and package that into new company. And this will actually enable us to go to the next level, right? In Asia, we are the only custodian pretty much that's in the industry today doing this. And for the companies in Asia that are existing in a digital asset space, they need a company that's really industry leader and can take them to the next level. So this is what First Digital is going to deliver. This is our objective with First Digital. So before, when you uh, always you know, saw legacy at the stage here and at the conferences, um, there is this pension side. But First Digital allows us to focus entirely on crypto, although there will be a traditional side to it. Uh, traditional asset classes and everything will be included, but our main focus will be in digital assets. And this is this is huge, guys. I mean, next year for us it's going to be uh, you know we can only we can only imagine what the future is going to bring. So that's pretty much all from me. I mean, two and a half years hard work. Today we're here, we're putting it all into a new company. It's going to be better than better than before. Everything else that we did before is included. Um, so very happy to be here today. Um, also, I wanted to say if any of you have any questions, you can ask some questions. Um, I, I'll be able to answer some more of the technical questions, uh, technology side, operation side. Vincent will be able to answer questions, uh, uh, you know, business-wise, and you know what our overall direction is going to be. And of course, you can schedule one-on-ones with us. Uh, so feel free to approach us in, in after this presentation to to do something like that. So we'll just take some questions. Yeah, awesome. So does anyone have any questions? I can pass the mic to you, to those who have some questions for the Legacy Trust and First Digital Trust team. No questions? Anyone? OK. <laughs> well, I mean. It's probably a lot of uh, unknown in the whole custody space. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about custody, but what is it? Just as you know, why do we need an independent or a, a qualified custodian to hold my Bitcoin or my cryptocurrency when I have an HSM device? I still want to be in control. I mean, that's the reason why people got into the whole decentralized space is they want to be in control of their own assets. That's great. However, if you want to go a step above that and want to start planning your future, start wealth planning, how you can diversify those into other asset classes, it doesn't work when it's sitting in your own HSM devices because there are reportings, there are, there are, there are um, tax issues that everyone has to consider. So that's, this is a service. First Digital is a company that's going to provide that gap, that bridge for not only individuals, but institutions that have banking problems, right? So that's, uh, I mean, it's very different from the last talk. But if you guys um, have any questions, please, yeah, you're free to contact us separately, for sure. Yeah. All right. I don't see a sea of hands, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's let's do one-on-ones. Um, we'll be here. We'll be at the conference today and tomorrow. Um, just you know, catch us if you see us walking around and ask some questions. Yep. Right. Awesome! So Thank can you. everyone join me in congratulating the Legacy Trust team? Thank you very much.